Hello, hello. This is Johannes Wateri from Holtron. Today, it's time to take a look of the new Asus ROG Azad keyboard. It was time to update my previous Apex Steel Series 7, which I had more than plus two years into something that was getting kind of a hype on the uh, internet. And especially when I do my daily work is to uh, work with uh, uh, programming and a lot of typing and also that is my hobby. Uh, I just felt like this is gonna be it. this is gonna be the next keyboard. I was about to purchase the uh, the new Apex Steel Series TKL version, the Pro TKL version, but it seemed a lot like a downgrade from the uh, the previous build quality and type of the uh, Apex Series. So this is where I settled as the battle horse and. Uh, Let's take a look why me as a Windows and primarily as a Mac user, why I like this. And there is pretty much nothing wrong with this keyboard, except one thing, many of you might know that. Oh, the, the cluster of Asus uh, armor crate. I have a few words about that piece of art cluster, but... Uh, Let's take a look at this one, okay? So let's take a look at the build quality of this keyboard. Coming from Apex Steel Series, this keyboard is a fantastic piece of mechanical art. You can feel the heaviness. I'm not gonna go into what it contains, but they have done the best they can make it solid, heavy, sturdy, and it doesn't feel hollow like some of the other keyboards. Even the Apex Steel series, even though it was it was aluminium hardtop, it felt a bit like a hollow keyboard. Of course this is wireless, there's battery, it brings that extra grams in the weight of this keyboard. That's fine. Then it has aluminium top plate cover, which is super cool. It feels cold and it feels quality. The keycaps, they almost feel like cold piece of aluminium too, even though they are doubles of PPDs. Definitely better great than what I used to have on my previous Apex Steel Series 7 into which I had to change these putting keycaps from Apex. I love those. But this one has perfect balance regarding the RGB and the design of the keycaps. I don't want to change these into anything at this point. So if you are more of a builder of custom keyboards, I'm not gonna go into the depth of how you can hot swap the keys in this, you can, because that's not my point of interest. I just love the experience of a quality typing with this device. What comes to quality of design and uh, what you get for the money. The only thing this device is missing from out, the, out of the box is a good solid wrist rest. So this is something you have to be prepared to purchase yourself. So what I did when I purchased the keyboard, I just purchased this TKL version a wrist rest from the Asus while I was purchasing this Rogue Azad keyboard. I think this has to be the best keyboard 
in design, in mechanical design, in the structure and in the quality that I have faced so far. The best part of this keyboard actually is that, well, let's wait a little while for the uh, the typing ex experience. That's gonna be. A, I'll do it in the end and later end. But the best feature of this keyboard as a Windows and a Mac user is that this is actually a standalone Mac and Windows keyboard at the same time. I've never seen this kind of a quick swap function. There might be others, but at least I haven't in this kind of a setup. If I just press the function, I can switch between PC mode and Mac mode on the top. PC, Mac, PC, Mac. And this keyboard actually has the keycaps with the Windows and Mac Alt and Command printings on it. Same on the left side, same on the right side. I can't emphasize how how messed up my brains were constantly. Even though I daily used Mac keyboards, Mac keyboard functionalities with Windows and Mac computer, I'm getting con <laughs> confused as I'm speaking. I was always messed up. Which button do I have to use, especially when I'm coding, to get the curly braces, to get the that get the braces itself, get the special markings, copy paste. What was I supposed to do with these ones? I mean, the key layout. Your brain is wired to function in in one way, and while you're switching between computers with the keyboard which really doesn't support those you you have only the software set up through the, the manufacturer support software and yeah it really wasn't a good experience and of course the lack of these Mac symbols in here my brains were in kind of a short circuit constantly adjusting in the moment but with this keyboard, I don't have that issue. It's just like, hey, let's... My brain understands we're in a PC mode. You use the Windows keys and they adjust automatically. We're in a Mac mode. The keys adjust as well as my brain does. That is perfect. The second best standalone feature that I love in this keyboard, I was so used to already coming from the Apex, is to have these quick buttons and the small LCD display on the right top corner. I'm constantly adjusting volumes to listen music, to uh, adjust volumes in a team's meetings, and uh, this is perfect. And there's also something, this is supporting three Bluetooth wireless devices. I don't like to use, I mean, let's say I don't need to use the, the uh, high-end quality wireless mode with USB dongle. Because I'm okay with the Bluetooth typing experience. It's fast, it's robust, and of course, as well as I do need to switch between the Mac and Windows key mode. Now I can have my pre-saved Bluetooth mode also. First is the Mac in a Bluetooth 1, then is the Windows in a Bluetooth 3. Oops, I just changed into Windows mode. So let's go back and make it usable like so. It is that easy. It is just gonna blink and it is in that Mac Bluetooth. So these kind of fe features, standalone features, without the need to use any proprietary, I don't know how to say, super software from the uh, manufacturer of the, uh, this device. I like, 
I like it so it is a standalone device without some bloatware such as armor crate. But in addition, I also like the default setups of the RGBs. Somebody might like to customize a bit more, but let's see what are the defaults. The defaults that we have are Ripple, that seems to be reactive, Starry Night, Quicksand. These are not really the good experience for a programmer because I need to see the letters and spe special markings on the uh, keycaps. But yeah, they're cool. Current, Raindrop, Static. This would be a cool setup for more settled person. Breathing, Color Cycle. I used to like this one. But these days, I love the vibrant colors of the rainbow RGB. So, okay, I could use one more. I would like, if I would make it make the RGB any better in this one, I would get the Apex Steel series, what I used to have. But the rainbow is fine to me. Okay, there's also multimedia tools in here. Among volume here, you can switch songs if you need to. You can adjust the light brightness. Perfect. And the OLED. If you don't like the default logos over here, you can just put it to zero. I keep it on 50 so it doesn't kind of hit me in the corner of the eye. Because I cannot use the Armor Crate software. I literally cannot use it. I'm not gonna tell you why in the end. Yeah. Lightning effects we went through. And finally, volume. I mean, guys, this is the perfect programmer key setup as well. Keyboard enthusiast and a gamer keyboard. I love this piece of work. Okay, let's do the typing. That is the most enjoyable pleasure of experience for a programmer. Okay guys, my microphone cannot really capture the ambience out audible voice of the keystrokes. The voice is not as rich and deep as it really is. Trust me. This is off the planet what comes to pre-built gaming or typing programming keyboards. If I would say I used to like Apex SteelSeries typing experience when, when I received this one and since then I've been using and coding and typing with this one, I would have to say that Apex is 5 in experience and this is the current 10. That, that is the big of a difference when it comes to typing. The sound, the depth, the thok, it is just off the charts. Yeah, you can beat this keyboard with custom keyboards. You put the time and money and sweat and tear and you are half pro building on your custom keyboards, but that's a different story. I'm fine with this one. 
I just wanted to have a pleasure of a experience while I'm working and this is it. Now let's finish this with a rant towards ASUS Armor Crate Cluster. So when I received this one, yeah I was aware that uh, internet was filled with people ranting and uh, pretty much giving bad experiences for Armor Crate. And uh, that's the super software to go further beyond with the customizations of the RGBs and key setups and everything. Luckily, I'm not relying on that one. I don't need it. But though, nevertheless, I tried to install that into my Windows computer to update possibly the firmware of this setup. Yeah, that that's a story of its own. So... To make it short, I downloaded the Armory Crate software, I installed the Armory Crate software, and I was able to, after 24 hours of attempting to <laughs> install that piece of art, I don't know how it's supposed to work. Truly, if, I don't know if Asus knows how, how that is supposed to work. Anyhow, after 24 hours, I was able to get it to install correctly. To get through that install cycle without asking me to uh, stop and reboot because Windows was doing something that prevents that piece of cluster being installed. I had one job for the armor crate that I wanted to do just to up possibly update this keyboard, the firmware, some features internally, maybe store myself a, a custom RGB profile in here. Yeah, it found this keyboard, it offered the updates, but it doesn't matter if I do wheelies or back wheelies or throw that piece of crap into a wall. It just won't install, it just won't do that one thing it exists for, to install the firmware that is offering or a profile that is offering into this piece of art. It just can't do that one thing correctly. Well, afterwards, I came to a conclusion that it is useless. I want to get rid of that program. I did not know how, how it entangled itself into the computer. It's not a, an X file that you just install and uninstall normally. Holy sh schmack. It is a piece of virus being injected itself into your computer system. Avoid it at all costs. Have nothing to do with that one. So I had to download this Asus uninstall program, which was supposed to uninstall that totally from all of its closets and places, secret places, services, multiple services that it just injected into the computer and it just couldn't do that also. <laughs> it can't install itself, it can't install the updates to your device that it's offering and it can't uninstall itself. What the heck is that supposed to do? So I had to use CC Cleaner. I had to find the uh, the the solutions to uninstall and totally remove that manually from program files, 86 normal program files. It has secret places, compartments over there. Stop the services. Do that. Remove. I had to order a freaking bombing of Berlin to my computer to get rid of that piece of cluster. Okay. Asus doesn't know it really, but they do have a solution in their company to fix the uh, armor upgrade. All they really need to do is to hire the keyboard mechanics to reprogram the armor upgrade software and it'll be perfect. And fire that whole programming workforce 
whatever it is in that company, get rid of it right now. Okay. The second thing that I believe is happening in Asus is that they are releasing these unbelievable, unbelievable pieces of hardware, such as the keyboard, to sell to the people, but they just might have this shadow, secret shadow organization called Armor Crate Group, which has only one single purpose is to totally destroy the sales of ASUS, totally destroy the user experience of ASUS products, and totally pull the carpet off from ASUS as it is an awesome hardware supplier designer. Just replace your pro whole programming organization with the keyboard mechanics, that's what you need to do. And you'll be fine in the future, else you're doomed. Okay guys, that's all, we'll be back.